Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about Ramanujan's infinite series. In this series, he told that the sum of all positive integers from 1 to infinity will give you minus 1 by 12. How can it be possible that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 d -d 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 till infinity will give you minus 1 over 12? That is summation of all positive numbers from 1 to infinity is equal to minus 1 by 12. I don't know where it exists really in the universe, but as was done by Ramanujan, it may exist somewhere. But when we think about practical terms, when we normally talk about the things we see around us, it is not possible to do the sum of numbers to give any negative number, while all the numbers are positive. To prove that, consider a series S1 that is equal to 1 plus sorry 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 till infinity if we add them there are two possibilities either the sum would be if the number of ones in this series is even we will get a zero or if it is odd we will get a one If the number till infinity, if we imagine that it is an even number, we will get a zero because 1 minus 1 will give it zero and then again 1 minus 1 will give zero. Again all the ones will be cancelled out with negative ones and give zero. But if we take the n to an odd number, if infinity is imagined to be any odd number then we will get 1 and if we take their average then we can get s. 0 or 1 and their average 1 by 2. So here we get one clue of S1 equal to 1 by 2. Now consider one more equation or one more series or definitely we can take. If we take S2 where S2 is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 till infinity and if we add s2 in again s2 in a different way a little shifted like 0 plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 till infinity we get something something beautiful if we add both these equations s2 and s2 we get two times of s2 will be equal to now this 1 plus 0 will give 1. Now this plus 1 minus 2 will give minus 1. Then plus 3 minus 2 will give plus 1. And minus 4 plus 3 will give minus 1. And in this equation we again get 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 till infinity. And 2 times of S2 will give 1 by 2. Because we know that 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 is 1 by 2. So here S2 is actually equal to 1 by 4. This is the term we have to use to prove Ramanujan's infinite series. So S2 is equal to 1 over 4. Now consider one more series that is the sum of all natural numbers S3 which is what we have to prove. S3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till infinity and if we subtract S2 from S3 this is what we get 1 minus 1 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 to infinity 
if s3 minus s2 we get 1 minus 1 is 0 is plus 2 minus 2 and again minus will become 4 plus 4 and this is 3 minus 3 is 0 and negative 4 minus and minus 4 will give plus 8 and so on so we will get a series of 4s so 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 16 till infinity if we take it out 4 common from the series we get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till infinity this is what we had already in the starting in S3 which is sum of all natural numbers so S3 minus S2 is equal to 4 times of S3 itself and if we rearrange this equation we get S2 equal to minus 3 times S3 or S3 is equal to S2 divided by negative 3 or negative S2 by 3 and the value of S2 that we have calculated earlier which was 1 by 4 so S3 is equal to minus 1 by 3 times 1 by 4 which will give us minus 1 by 12 this is what we had to prove that S3 which is sum of all natural numbers from 1 then 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 till infinity will give us negative 1 by 12 how he did what he thought about the equation are still the mysteries and there are a lot of mysteries related to Ramanujan if you want some more videos like that please like share and subscribe have a great day bye bye take care